The pelvis is the lower part of the trunk between the abdomen and the thighs. The pelvic skeleton is formed in the area of the back by the sacrum, the coccyx and anteriorly and to the left and right sides by a pair of hip bones, the ilium, the ischium and the pubis. The shape of the pelvis often differs between males and females. A female's pelvis is generally wider and more open than a male's pelvis. This helps with vaginal childbirth. In this video, we will be speaking about the female pelvis. Even in females, the pelvis varies in shape and size among different individuals. Generally speaking, there are four main pelvis types according to caldwell molloy classification. The four different pelvis shapes in order of descending incidence are Gynecoid, which is present in 40% of female population The Android, which is 32% The Anthropoid, which is 23% And the Platypeloid, which is 3% Actually, the majority of pelvis are of mixed types. The types of, fil the types of pelvis a female has may affect the ease in which she can give birth vaginally. The first type we talk about is the gynecoid pelvis. This is the most common type of pelvis in females and is generally considered to be the typical female pelvis. Its overall shape is round, shallow and open. Inlet is slightly transverse oval. The true pelvis, which has been explained in my video related to dimensions of female pelvis, has a shallow cavity as you can see. The sacrum is as shown is wide with average concavity and inclination. The greater sciatic notch is wide. The blunt ischial spine widens the interspinous diameter. Walls of the cavity are straight. The subpubic angle varies from 90 to 100 degrees with a bituberous diameter of 10 cm. All these features makes the gynecoid pelvis the most favorable pelvis type for a vaginal birth. This is because the wide open shape gives the baby plenty of room during delivery and shallow cavity allows a short delivery time. The next type we are going to talk about is the android pelvis. This type of pelvis bears more resemblance to the male pelvis. It's narrower than the gynecoid pelvis and the inlet is shaped more like a heart or a wedge with anterior narrow apex. The cavity is deep and side walls are converging with projecting ischial spines. As seen, the sacrum is wide with slight curve. The sacrosciatic notch is narrow. The prominent ischial spine narrows the interspinous diameter. Subpubic angle is narrow and less than 90 degree with a bituberous diameter of less than 10 cm. The features that I have just mentioned as you can guess make, a, make labor difficult in an android pelvis because the baby might move more slowly through the narrowed birth canal. Some pregnant women with an android pelvis may require a c-section.
Now you look at the anthropoid type of pelvis. It is a black type of female pelvis. Its shape is similar to an upright egg or oval. Therefore, pelvic cavity is narrow and deep. You are seeing the sacrum which is long and narrow and the sacrosciatic notch is wide. The ischial spines are blunt and the interspinous diameter is approximately 10 cm. It has divergent side walls. The subpubic angle is less than 90 degree with a bituberous diameter of more than 10 cm. The elongated shape of the anthropoid pelvis makes it roomier from the front to the back than the android pelvis, but it's still narrower than the gynecoid pelvis. Some pregnant women with this pelvis type may be able to have vaginal birth, but their labor may last longer. The next type of pelvis type we see is the platypeloid. The platypeloid pelvis is also called the flat pelvis. This is, this is the least common type and resembles an egg or oval lying on its side. It's wide but shallow. You are seeing the sacrum is wide but slightly curved. The greater sciatic notch is narrow and the blunt ischial spine widens the interspinous diameter. The walls are divergent. The subpubic angle is more than 90 degree with a bitubrous diameter of more than 10 cm. As expected from the previous, previously shown features, all anteroposterior diameters are short and all transverse diameters are long. This this shape of platypeloid pelvis makes a vaginal birth difficult because the baby may have trouble passing through the pelvic inlet. Many pregnant women with a platypeloid pelvis need to have a C-section.